What is it? What's wrong? They want something with less fat. Owner reserves the right to refuse service. I am owner. So you're the owner, and you're coming to us? Get out, get out, get out. Your blood pressure. Crazy old man. I told you I never would have come here anyway. What, again? Yeah, don't worry about it. Thanks, Mark. Well, my dad. Stop your yelling, old man. Here. Here are your groceries. Hmm. Good as spices. Fair or fresh. Yes. Oil. Oil. I'll get started on the fish. No. You study. I will. I'll help out just until Michelle arrives. Oh. Uh, 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 yeah? Careful. Don't cut to the bone. Uh -huh. I know. Okay. Here. Oh. Mrs. Wang. <laughs> Mr. Lee, can I get you anything else? Oh, we have a problem. Just a bit light. The fan will start up. Oh, it's not the fan. Mr. Lee asked for his check. You what? Mr. Lee asked for the check. He wants to pay. What can you do? Hmm? The economy is bad. Nobody comes out anymore. No, that's not it. People don't appreciate cooking. They don't want the chefs. They want a circus. Then why don't you give them what they want? The Americans have this expression, customer is always right. They also have expression, 
All the dog no learn new tricks. How oh, you need to relax. Hmm? In order for this to be good, there must be hard work, suffering. In order for the customer to enjoy honey, chef must feel the sting. Is that what you teach your grandson? No, no, no. I forbid Mark to go to work in kitchen. Mark will go to college, study engineering. But what about your recipes? Oh, bah, no one cares. The real cooking is dead anyway. Makes me feel very sad to hear you say that. Your dumplings are the best in town, just like my mom's. She went broke too. As you know, you are already eight months behind in rent. I can give you two weeks, but if you're not paid up in full by then... I'm sorry, my friend. I'm going to miss your cooking. Always overreacts to bad news. Too much anger in his heart. Miss Lee can't kick us out. I'll talk to him. Maybe we could work on a payment plan or something. With what? I I could get a job. No, Mark, your grandfather doesn't want this life for you. But the Red Phoenix is our home. I can't let them take away our home. Mark, you won't even be here next year. You'll be in college. The restaurant business is too hard. It's time to let go. No, I'm not gonna let go. I can't just leave Grandpa in the restaurant like he did. Who? Oh, your dad? Oh, Mark. That was a lifetime ago. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna save the restaurant. No matter what it takes. What can we do? David, the final contestant will compete with the original master chef himself. Precisely. And for the first time ever, Final Recipe won't just be taking on award-winning chefs. We'll be taking on all chefs, including home cooks, the fans. David, does this contest mean that you'll be retiring as master chef? Hey, I haven't lost yet. They gotta beat me first. <laughs> That's the truth. Well, thank you, everyone. Remember this Friday, Final Recipe's ultimate showdown begins. Thank you. Thank you. Final recipes open audition will be held in Shanghai this Saturday. The last man standing will battle it out against David Chan, the final recipes one and only master chef. The winner will be given one million dollar prize and the first. Can you really think you can win? Oh, you scared me. Please, Mrs. Wang. All I need is enough to get to Shanghai. Enough to get me into that competition. You haven't answered my question. You really think you can win? Yes, I do. Look, you know I've been following Chef David all my life. I know just about everything there's to know about him. He started cooking in his dad's kitchen. I started out right here in Grandpa's kitchen. He has black hair, you have black hair. Exactly. Come on. 
over here. I don't understand. There's enough here to pay the rent. For what? To keep the doors open another couple of months? No, Mark. This is your college money. How is saving this for you? So he's been cheating Mr. Lee? He wants only the best for you, for your future, Mark. No, I can't live with this. Oh, you win the competition, and you won't have to worry about it. Go, go, go. <sighs> Seriously, don't blow it. ago she was a food writer with a dream today she is the force behind the final recipe ladies and gentlemen please welcome the lady with a taste for talent the grandmaster herself miss julia lee <laughs> our next judge doesn't look nearly as good in a dress but he's a world-renowned chef who has earned three michelin stars for his bold french cooking so please do give it up for daniel balloon <laughs> Today's first round is a sample test I give to all my chefs. You'll have to make the perfect omelette. for the competition? Do you have your confirmation number? My what? From your application. I just got here. Is there any way you could squeeze me in? I came all the way from Singapore. I'm sorry, but we're completely booked up. Good job. Acceptable. Terrible. Congratulations. Kind of an elephant skin. Mm. Oh, yours is very, very nice. Good, job. Good texture. Baby skin. Perfect. Thank you, Chef. $500 for your spot. Cash now. If I win, I'll split the money with you 50-50. 60-40, 70-30. Last round of contestants. Please step forward when your name is called. Duan Lee. Yes, here. Dimitri Beckmampito. Dimitri? Is there a Dimitri here? Dimitri? You're up. Hey, did I pronounce that right? Vekumambitov? Yeah. I mean, duh. Thank you. 
This is to play for, huh? Very nice. Good job, Chef. What are you preparing for, Chef? Just a minute. Still waiting. Well done. But why the delay? Is that your second try? Be honest. No, sir. My burner didn't work, so I had to find another uh -huh. heat source. Well done. A great chef always knows what to improvise. Congratulations, Dimitri. Thank you. Thank you very much. Congratulations, kid. It was 15 years ago. I needed contestants for the first season, and I wasn't having much luck. At that time, the idea of cooking on TV seemed tacky to most chefs, and the ones who were willing to try... Let's just say I had a lot of bad meals. I thought we would have to cancel the show. But then I met David, and the rest of the story, you know. David is one of those chefs with the perfect palate. It's a rare gift, and only a few people in the world are born with it. Hey, David. Hey. What's for dinner? Uh, delivery. Pizza. Sounds yummy. Missed you today. I thought you'd be there to check out the competition. Cooks off the street? I don't think so. Hey. Are you all right? The doctor's office called today. Hi, Julia. This is Dr. Wen over at the fertility clinic. I have your test results. Uh, please give me a call when you get a chance. <sighs> this is Wei. It's Mark. I did it. I made it to the next round. Yes, I saw. How's Grandpa doing? Can I talk to him? Oh, he's sleeping now. Oh, don't wake him. I'll call back tomorrow. How's he doing? Awful. What? Oh, he complains all the time. Bosses me around. I don't know how much more I can take. Thanks for taking such good care of him, Mrs. Wang. You're the best. Everything's gonna be okay. Don't worry. I'll call back tomorrow, okay? Okay. Bye. Excuse me, God. It's okay. It's all right. Okay. Mrs. Wang, let me be honest with you. At this point, there is nothing much we can do. It is best for you to take him home and make sure his last days are happy. <laughs> Teammate? Didn't they teach you never to approach a chef holding an A? No, I... Uh, hi, I'm Mark. I mean, Dimitri. You call me Dimitri. Cody, so where did you study? Um, Singapore Secondary. That a CIA school? SCE? No, it's a uh, high school. Number eight. That's good luck in China, isn't it? It means prosperity and wealth. Job's right. I'm sure I'm good, I mate. Oh, this will be nice. Tell me you went to culinary school. Culinary arts in Sydney. Thank you. Dropped out, though. Bunch of uptight bastards. You're not one of them, are you? I went to Le Cordon Bleu, a Oh, hell. She is one of them. Listen, sweetheart. I'm not your sweetheart. Or your babe. I am a chef. I did not come all this way to be sucked down by you amateurs. What's up, teammate biatches? Welcome back, chefs! Now, the good news is about a hundred of you have made it through to round one. The bad news is that only 16 of you will make it through to round two. Four teams will be chosen based on how well you prepare today's challenge ingredients. And helping Grandmaster Julia select the winners will be today's guest judges. International food critic and editor-in-chief of Epicure magazine, Antonio Lassar! 
chef in the world ever to receive two Michelin stars, Mr. Ming Lee. Today, you'll be cooking with an ingredient I'm sure you've all used before, and that's pick. Go check on the meat. Okay. Okay, my need a plate. Straight away, let's go. Yep. Yo, D, grab me some of those flowers. The rosemary? Thank you. Anybody see my truffles? I Here. need it for my sauce. Yeah, Wilbur ate it. Who's Wilbur? I need the pit Wilbur. <laughs> You're such a dick. What the hell? Are you crazy? Do you know how expensive truffles are? Oh, I'll bet $2,000 a pound. I know a guy who can get it for you for half that. Oh, yeah. No time. We go with truffles. Ready to go. No, it doesn't need it. Are you kidding? We can't just put a chunk of pork on a plate. No. <laughs> In here. You are crazy, mate. Third degree are burns no fun. Hold still. Great. Now we don't have any more sauce. It doesn't need it. Chef, it's time to serve. Well, we're about to find out, aren't we? So what do we have here? Nice. Tomato. And... Mustard, huh? Here we go. Mmm. It's, it's really good. Yeah, but will it taste as good? That's the main Home thing. Okay. Alright. Oh, oh thank you. Okay. There we go. Wow. Right. I was lying. No. You're right. Uh, I don't know how they call that food. With a little bit of applesauce. Mmm. Mm. No flavor. No good. Jeff Joe, it's really nice to see you here. What a surprise. Wow, the presentation looks amazing. This is a delicate side of pork with a red wine braise. Bon appetito. Not bad. Hmm. I think it's amazing that you're able to bring out such depth and flavor in such a short amount of time. Well done. Brilliant. Thank you, Chef Gio. Dude is such a rock star. So, what do you have for us? Not much technique on the plate, is there? Uh, we wanted to uh, honor and respect the pig by uh, giving you its truest essence. Mm, very old style. Simple, traditional pop chop. A bit too traditional for me. Peasant mm. cooking, really. Mm. I do mm. taste the slightest hint of... truffle. Mm -hmm. Really? I thought that was beer. Oh, actually, uh, you're both right. Um, what you're tasting is the pig's final meal. Mm. Not a bad way to go. I think the dish is too plain. Not for me. I think it shows incredible restraint. Well, we may not agree on the technique, but I think we all agree on the taste. The pork is tender, flavorful, and perfectly seasoned. For that, you deserve a spot in round two. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. You earned it. Dimitri, right? Yeah. Number two, moving closer. The kid with the bandages. Working. Mm -hmm. Sorry, it's my fault. I just hate to see all this pig go to waste and everyone looks so hungry. Hmm. Do you want me to fix you a bowl? Sure. Thank you. 
Hey, one more. You want? Yes, sir. I know the shoot is next week. No, no, you don't need to send another talent scout. I promise, I'll find someone. Someone good. Thank you, sir. You like this one? Can I help you? Sorry. I was just wondering what smelled so good. Come in, play with me. Hi. C come in, come in. Get out of the ring. So what are you cooking? I don't know. You have to ask him. Every year for his birthday, I make a special one-of-a-kind dish for my son. Like On that day, he's the boss. Me. He tells me what goes inside his birthday dish. Here we go. Where's his mom? Passed away a couple of years ago. Oh, sorry. And this one. But I chili. <laughs> you don't want that. That's too spicy. <laughs> oh. Anything else? Here. Taste. It's probably terrible. After all, it's his recipe. Okay. Dimitri. We can... Okay. What do you want me to find out about this guy other than how to pronounce his last name? Where he went to school, where he trained. Talk to his friends, his parents. Use your background check, right? Go deeper. He could make it to the final rounds. Want to make sure there's nothing there that could embarrass the show. Ooh. Cute kid. And he's from Moscow. Pack a winter coat. Moscow. Hey, you know, that off the bookshelf, David's dad? Thought you called it quits on that. Ah, uh, no, I forgot I still had a trace on it and uh, got a hit on it somewhere in Singapore. I mean, if you discuss with David, I could run down there before I head to Russia and let Singapore final start this weekend. No, um, do the move too first. You are the boss. How can you show this sweet? I eat this. 
I'm getting even sicker. Why not spend ten more minutes getting it right? Hey, old man! Oh! Uh. Stop bothering those people! Come talk to your grandson! Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming! Hey! Oh! Oh! Hello, Mark! Hey, yeah, yeah. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm fine, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Where are you? The college tour. You signed the permission slips last week. Wait, don't you remember? Of course I remember. I'm not that old. Hey, Mark. Which campus do you think has the best engineering school? Oh, they're all good. Count, Chef. Cassie, time to go. I'll be right there. Hey, yeah, I have to go now. Wait, wait, Mark, Mark, Mark. You be careful. I will. Mark, Mark, Mark. Yes, Grandpa? I'm very proud of you. Thank you, Grandpa. Dimitri, let's go! Like a leg, man. <laughs> A dish is only as good as what goes into it. Your talent, your vision, and of course, your ingredients. In that sense, the guest judges today are the true royalty of the food world. It is my distinct pleasure to introduce you to Takura-san, the queen of rice. Please meet Mr. Swan, the prince of poultry. Say hello to Master Kim. King of Spices. And get ready for the ingredient reveal. So to help you with this challenge, we'll be giving you this. <laughs> All four teams will be given this ever so generous budget to shop and four hours to prepare. But only one team will be chosen to advance. So as ever, good luck. And good cooking! Listen, we can't cook like in the first round. Why not? We won. But we're cooking for royalty now. So we need a head chef. I'm guessing that would be you. I've had formal training. Obviously. No one gets to be this much of a bitch all on our own. I hate it when mommy and daddy fight. Listen, I'm not saying that you shouldn't be head chef. I'm just saying. We should work as a team. A kitchen is not a democracy. Oh, for Christ's sake, girl, let your hair down. Save some brain cells. Fine. I make my dish. You make your own. That's fair. Fine. Man, I am out of here. Whoa, 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 wait. You're leaving? There's no point of staying if there's no chance of winning. Let's be honest, all right? We don't have a chance at winning the million dollars. But this... This could be ours, right now. Between sodium alcohol and calcium chloride. Did what you came here to do. Grandpa needs you and you need to go back. Just think of how happy he'll be. Think. What's cooking? What is cooking? Well, to be honest, my father hated me cooking. <laughs> you know. He would have been happier if I were a doctor or an engineer. But what parent wouldn't? But I believed in my cooking. I, I believed in myself. So I left behind my life. I left behind my hometown. And uh, it was actually the hardest thing I ever had to do, you know? 
But you know, it would have been harder not to follow the courage of my convictions. To not cook. That would have killed me. Every team has finished their shopping and now have less than an hour to complete their dishes. And there's team two vacuum sealing that beef. And yes, here's team three grilling those big juicy prawns. Meanwhile, team nine's chicken is boiling with ginseng as I speak. The kitchen is literally steaming and... What's going on with team eight? I can't wait to... We can resume on an eight. Dishes. Go to eight. Uh-oh, looks like team eight is down two chefs. This could cost them dearly. Here comes another one of their chefs now. Hey guys, Tokyo Walk, what'd you get? Courage of my convictions. Wait, well, can't put that on the menu, mate. Doesn't matter. I'm almost done with my caviar appetizer to accompany my fog rattery. Caviar? Why what? Where's the truffle? Yeah, my truffle pudding with. You have 30 minutes left, chef. So, what are you cooking? Pressure cooked braised wagyu short ribs on a bed of bok choy. Take a look at the marbling on this meat, Dimitri. These cows are given a sake massage every day. Happiest cows in the world. Here, taste. Mm. Here, try my champagne sabayon infused with white truffles. Gua, you don't like it? No, it's good. I just. Don't think it goes with this beef. Oh. Of course not. It goes with my caviar appetizer. Yeah, but doesn't his beef entree come right after your appetizer? No. We serve my press dog with bogatarine for the entree. French appetizer with French entree. Newsflash, Missy. This is not France. We should be focusing on local flavors using local ingredients. In other words, serve your menu. It's teamy. Oh, MB comes swing on your teammate. I food from a local market fly halfway around the world to get my food rather than just go down the road and look at your fitting. Stop! Whoa! What the hell was that? Everyone okay? Uh, more importantly, did you get that on camera? Okay. An absolute disaster for Team 8, and with such little time left, I don't know how they could possibly recover. Oh, that's a shame. I thought that team really had a bit of potential. Oh, well. What's cooking, everyone? Park. Papa is back. Yeah. Nice to see you guys, too. I came back. Yeah. Shoes? You spent all your money on shoes? What are you talking about? It took me three hours to pick these out. They all match my chef's jacket. Very camera-friendly. We won't be on camera. Why not? Because we don't have any food to show. Well, that's not true. We've got beef, vegetables, rice. Plenty here for a beautiful dish. What dish? Bibimbap. Bibimbap? Are you kidding? We're cooking for final recipe. 20 minutes left, chef. 20 minutes. Okay, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's cook for royalty. Let's make royal bibimbap. What is royal bibimbap? What is that? Only the best tasting bibimbap anyone's ever eaten. Bibimbap. All day, man. Well, let's focus, people. You don't just eat with your mouth. Sometimes you eat with your eyes.
now for my secret weapon. Gochujang from a sacred village from the Taebaek Mountains. The sunlight up there grows chili peppers touched by the gods. <coughs> oh. This is awful. No, it's worse than that. It's a crack. What are you talking about? Oh. This, this stuff is legit. <coughs> oh, my God. Does anybody have any oh, MSC? Moving final presentation. Forget teammate. Oh, oh my God. Uh. Wait, not so fast. <coughs> Shit, mate, I think you're poisoning. What? Dimitri. Dimitri! Today, we prepare for you a song of the sea, sprinkled with white pearl powder. Before you is a silky chicken. But the chicken is merely a cooking vessel for the dish within. White bird's nest, harvested from the deep caves of Burma. Water, fire, and earth the primary elements of cooking. Representing water, we have a soup of seaweed and oyster. I don't see any oyster or seaweed, just uh, caviar. And that's not caviar. They're bubbles of seawater filled with the distilled essence of seaweed and oyster. Mm. Oh, oh. And next, we have fire, a tenderloin of Wagyu beef. It's perfectly seared. Actually, it's not. It was cooked sous vide. That seared outer crust is really a coating of bamboo charcoal powder. And finally, earth. Instead of a tiramisu dessert, I've created a forest misu using edible soil made from crystallized chocolate. Hmm. I'm confused. Smoke without fire? Chocolate soil? Why cook this way? Cooking is about transformation. In order to appreciate the finest essence of each ingredient, we must challenge our preconceptions of food. Bibimba? No, it's Royale Bibimba. The delicate blowtorch skill uh, maximizes the aroma of the wagyu beef. Each of the vegetables are treated with care. Cooked under different heat, it is a symphony of season in the bowl. You are both wrong. This is not bibimpa. This is not gochujang. What's in this? This paste. Pine nuts, sesame oil, and fresh apples. I also put in some Chinese rose song. Why would you do this to your kuchujang? I think in cooking, as in music, harmony is greater than the sum of its parts. I wanted to bring all these ingredients together to create something new, something one of a kind. Young man, you have succeeded. You not only have brought harmony and balance to a simple dish, but elevated to something worthy of kings and queens. We have a tie. Team two and team eight. Please step forward. 
congratulations. The judges have awarded both teams the highest number of points in the history of final recipe. Only one team can advance to the next level. Here to determine the tiebreaker, please welcome Master Chef David Chan. Is it going to taste like dishes? I guess so. As a chef, your first mission is to bring ultimate pleasure to our palates. But a good chef can do so much more. A good chef can move us, reawaken our passion, our dreams of childhood. But a great chef can do all of this on a budget. Each team has been given the same amount of money to create their magnificent dishes. The team which spent the least money will be declared the winner. Wait, where the hell is he going? Sorry. Here. What? I believe we have a winner. Teammate, you're going to the next level. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, hey, it's you. So what are you cooking? <laughs> oh. Um, it's not for cooking. It's, uh, it's actually a home remedy. Hmm. I burnt my hand. Let me see. Well, basil is good, but turmeric is better. My father's fix-all. No way. My grandfather uses it for cuts. It stings like hell, though. I'll try it out. Doesn't taste too bad as tea, either. Thanks, chef. Oh, call me David. And you are? The... Dimitri. Dimitri, that's yeah. right. So where are you trained, Dimitri? Oh, um, nowhere really, just the family restaurant. Oh, nothing to be ashamed of. That's how I got started as well. Now you're competing on television. Your parents must be very, very proud. No, I'm not doing this for them. Uh-oh. A rebel, huh? Your parents don't approve? It's kind of complicated. I understand. My father hated me cooking as well. But don't worry about them. If you're my kid, I'll be very, very proud. Thank you. Well, good luck, Dimitri. I'll see you tomorrow. Hello? Jack? What? I can barely hear you. Hello? Jack? You're late. Honey, you missed a script meeting. Well, sorry. Let me see. Injuries, atrium, avarice. Oh, no. This is all wrong. Just have Benny say, Noodles! Today's challenge involves one of the world's oldest culinary staples, the noodle. China alone has over 1,200 different noodle dishes, each offering a distinct look into the soul of its many peoples and personalities. And in this round, we'll be taking a look into the souls of our remaining chefs. You'll be cooking today for the Grand Master herself. So show her your technique, show her your soul. 
the chef with the best noodle dish will advance to the final round. Here, Mark. Dimitri suddenly picked up some speed. Look at him swiftly running his hands over that kitchen top there. He's really showing off some fine double blade skills, breaking down the pork into an excellent minced meat. The rhythms he's drumming out is already stimulating our palates, making me wonder what culinary surprise he's going to bring to this battle today. Each noodle has a distinct flavor. Yellow pepper, green tea, sesame. But what flavor is this? While your dish is beautiful, I only wish they were as appetizing. I uh, hand pulled the noodles to make the strands as soft as a baby's bottom. Hmm. These noodles are light and airy and very resilient. Thank you. Excellent bite. I only wish that the noodles were the only strands on the plate. I decided to make you a noodle soup inspired by my family recipe. I extracted broth from kombu, bonito flakes, and smoked shiitake mushrooms to get the most umami. Chef, don't you think something is missing from your plate? No. My dish is perfect. <sighs> chopsticks. I forgot the chopsticks. You must remember the most important thing about cooking. The food is for the people who eat it, not for the chef who makes it. Dumplings? My earliest food memory. My grandfather makes the best dumplings for New Year's. They're supposed to represent luck and harmony. But to me, they represent the reason I'm here today. My grandfather. They look lovely, but today's challenge is to create a noodle dish. Yes, if you look closer, 
You'll see I didn't use traditional skins to wrap the dumplings. I used noodles. Extraordinary. Well, if they taste as good as they look. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Chef Dimitri, you will advance to the final round. In the next round, Chef Dimitri will compete against final recipes. Well, I'd be damned. Is this young and talented chef capable of winning? Michael of Master Chef, will he return home with $1 million? Stay tuned. See you tomorrow. It's Jack. Oh, thank you. Jack, so what's going on? Yeah, I found you, Dimitri. Great. What did you find out? Well, I found him. I'm here right now with Mr. Bicker, Bicker. Big man, Bicker. Yeah, so I don't know who you have there with you, but I'm here with the real Dimitri. David. How dare you do this, Seth? I can't you understand. I've already told you. Hey, David, listen to me. No, 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 no. Julia, Stop. it means Stop. well, all right? This show Stop. could be really good for us. It could be good for our restaurant. It could be good for Mark. It could be good if for you. You leave here. You won't see me again. Oh, Chef Howard, this is a great opportunity for David. It will open many no, no, doors no, no, for no. his future. I forbid it. I forbid him to go. Dad, stop it. <laughs> Sorry. Baba. Baba. Okay. How can you do this? I better than your father, your son. Dad, don't be so dramatic. I'll probably be gone only a week. Are you saying you need me now? Yeah. Give Mark a kiss for me, okay? I, I, I don't want to wake him. I am David Chan. I am from Shanghai. I feel very, very happy and I'm very grateful to be here. Um, We closed the go away. I just can't wait to see what Jeff Chan will bring to show this time. <sighs> He's such a gifted chef with extraordinary. You deaf! I said we close tonight. It's on and the clock is rolling. Chef David Chan has just dropped two Peking ducks into two steaming waters. And Yao Li once again shows off the walk action. I love it when it's cooking. The kitchen stadium is already being smelling fantastic. Marvelous, marvelous. Call for David, says it's an emergency. Oh, thanks. Hello? I needed to talk to David. This is his father. Chef Hao, how good to hear from you. Put my son, no, it's an emergency. I can't right now. Uh, he's in the middle of the show. Put him on. Tell him his son needs him right now. Okay, okay. Hold on. Chef Hao, he'll call you right back. You. 
You tell him his son needs him. And he'll say he, he'll call you as soon as he can. And Chef Hao, we have great news. David is opening a restaurant, his own restaurant here in London. Hello? Chef Hao? Can you hear me? Yes. You tell him it's OK. No one needed to call back. In fact, no one needed to come home at all. Chef Hao. You tell him, give him a message. His family no longer to burden him. You tell him, his son is dead. What? Chef Hao? Hello? Something is missing from your plate? Uh, no. Won't I die? My dish is perfect. Turn this garbage off before I go blind. Chef Hao? Chef Hao. Remember me? Please stop. Listen to me. Please. Julia, you're so pretty. I love your show. Can Sorry. I have your autograph, please? Chef. How? Wait. Wait. Father makes the best dumplings for me. They're supposed to represent luck and harmony. But to me, they represent the reason I'm here today. My grandfather. They look lovely. But today's challenge is to create a new <laughs> Come back to Shanghai with me. It is time to fix our mistakes. No, I don't make a mistake. David chose this. He left his family. Really? David left? So what are you doing hiding here in Singapore? Does that mean Mark didn't win the prize money? No, not yet. But he has a very good chance. He just has to beat David. Well, what? Devi and Mark, they're going to compete? Mm-hmm. They're going to meet. So you can come back to Shanghai with me and be the one who brings them together, or have them realize that you're the one that tore them apart. Your choice. My choice? No, it's my choice. Was it my choice 50 years ago when you took my son? When you took the... <laughs> I'm not going anywhere until you agree to come with me to make things right. Out. Get out of here! Get out! Chef, oh, please. No, no. No, I, I have to talk no, to you. No, please. Don't do now. this. Oh, Miss Julia, please. please. But I need him. Please. 
respect a dying man's last wish. Hi, oh, you want to see me? Come in. Have a seat, Mark. Fifteen years. I've been searching for this kid's death certificate. Now I know why I never found it. I'm sorry, are you... But you didn't call me Dimitri. Why would I? You're Mark Chan, age 18. Born in Shanghai, raised by your grandfather, Hao Chan. Your mother, deceased. I see now. Look, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to lie. I just... just really need this prize money. So when they call this Dimitri guy, I... I would have never done this if my grandfather's restaurant weren't in trouble. Mark, that's not why I wanted to talk to you. Then what you want to talk to me about? Mark, Mark, where are you? Huh? Is it true? What she told me, is it true? Mark, you can't believe anything that the devil woman tells you. She said it was all her fault. Yes, yes, it's all her fault. So you lied to me? You lied to me about my own father? He didn't leave us on business trip. He's not even a businessman. That's all he is. He is no chef. No respect for food, just the money. Why? Why? Uh, uh, Mark, listen. You lie about your college trip, so we are even. Then now, come home. I lied because I was trying to save the restaurant. Why did you lie? To, to get a free dishwasher, slave labor? I only wanted the best for you. No, you wanted what was best for you! Mark. 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 Mark! Last minute venue change. This is unlike you. Maybe it's time for things to change. After all this time, you still continue to surprise me. Just wait till you get to some. I'll see you in a bit. Oh. 
I'm gonna win this, you know. And this time it won't be for me. It's Dimitri. He shook out the hotel. He's gone. shoot is tomorrow. No, no, don't cancel. I will find you. I promise. Mark? 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 Where did you get your noodles? Hey, how's it going? Where are you? I know. One with curry leaf and chili, please. What are you here to recruit me? Drag me up to that show of yours? No thanks. I've seen how that turns out. No. I came to ask for your forgiveness. Yeah, like I'm gonna do that. How about betrayal? Disappointment? With the side of lies? I know what those taste like. But forgiveness? Sorry, not on the menu. Next! Mark, Mark, your father never stopped looking for you. Stop lying to me! You know, I stood right in front of him tonight. You know what he did? He just shook my hand. Like a complete stranger. What kind of father does that? What kind of father doesn't even recognize his own son? One who can bear the thought of being hurt again. One who's too afraid to ask for anything good. I know you're hurt. I know you're confused. But running away is not going to help. Look at your grandfather. Look at David. He died inside when he lost you. And only you can bring him back. We all make mistakes, Mark. No reason you should make them too. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening, and welcome to the final recipe. 
Tonight's showdown will determine who receives the coveted title of Master Chef. And because we open this competition to the audience at home, we thought we'd select the judges from our audience here tonight. Now it's time to welcome the woman who made this all possible, the Grand Master herself, Miss Julia Lee! For the last 15 years, you've watched him perform amazing feats in the kitchen. Here to defend his title, please welcome Master Chef David Chen. And his challenger today is a young man you've come to know over the last two weeks. You've watched him grow into an outstanding chef, Dimitri beckman battle And now Dimitri walks on stage. We're here today in Singapore because today's challenge is special. Today, we want to take you on a journey. Today, we want to ask, what does family taste like? Everybody just hold your cameras down. That is definitely not in the strip. What's going on? Is family a flavor? Can the memories of the ones you love be reached through the senses of taste and smell. Tonight, the chef that reaches deep into his heart and finds the dishes that best answer this question will earn the title Master Chef. So good luck. And good cooking. Today I've prepared a 15-course tasting meal for you. Why so many, Chef? Did you come from a large family? No. Actually, no. I lost my family a long time ago. And I miss them terribly. But I miss most of all my son's birthdays. Every birthday, we used to cook together. No rules, no recipes. For that day, my son was the chef. My son was in charge. 
but he's gone now. So every year on his birthday, I, I cook. I try to imagine what he will want to eat. And this is the result. 15 dishes for 15 birthdays I have missed. Including today. And we're cut to commercials. Right. Clear the tables. Two. I don't understand. Just one dish and a stir fry? This is what family tastes like to me. I'm confused. We're all supposed to share this one dish? No, I didn't make it for you. I made it for him. What do your son has made for you? Grandpa. Dad? What's going on? We're live here, people. Where have you come from? Where have you been? Son, please don't punish him for what I did. Taste. Okay, this is curry leaf. Smell. Mmm. Mm. Oh, you gotta be careful with this one. You gotta be careful with this one. Remember this? This little one becomes this big one, okay?
order. The fish delivery is here. Yes, Jeff. Good cooking can take you on an adventure, a journey to new faraway places. It can take two different ingredients from opposite ends of the earth and bring them together in perfect harmony. Or it can take an ordinary ingredient, something common, and transform it into something new and exciting. It can make the impossible possible. But best of all, good cooking brings people together. It is the ultimate expression of love. And the best cooking the greatest cooking of all is the family meal. Because who's going to feed you better than the people you love? Pick up two pork belly, one soup, and one fish. Yes, sir. Master Grandpa's recipe. You would have been so proud. Well, let's try it. Don't cut to the bone. I know, Grandpa. Dad, relax. Now that you have two chefs in the kitchen. And plus, I'm a master chef. Oh, cocky now, are we? I wonder where you got that from. Hola, hola, you don't want to go. Hear me say, I eat the salt more than you eat the fat. Let me go, go, go. Dad, don't move. You're hard. Hey, Dad, this is good.
smooth, watch it sometime with the same glow. And my crew stay fresh, you already know. I